evening, everyone. Welcome to the installation ceremony for Dean Michael Trick. I'm Lori Weingart, Interim Provost of Carnegie Mellon University, and on behalf of President Jahanian and the entire university community, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to this evening celebration. This is a very exciting day for the Cutter campus and for the entire CMU University community. Today, we formally in install Mike Trick as the Dean of the Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar. Uh, we're joined on the stage by the deans of the Dietrich and Mellon College, as well as our Dean of Students, Dean of Libraries, our Vice Provost for Education, our Associate Deans and Academic Council members from CMUQ, and members of the faculty. So welcome and thank you all for being here. Um, and we're also delighted to have Mike's family and friends who've traveled to campus for the celebration including his wife, Alona, and son, Alexander. And I know you're here. We're thrilled to have you join us. There you are. Uh, please join me in welcoming Farnam Jahanian, Interim President of CMU, and Her Excellency, Dr. Hessa Al-Jabbar, Joint Advisory Board Member, and other members of the JAB, including um, N. Balakrishnan, Associate Director of the Indian Institute of Science, Ahmed El Magarmid, Executive Director, Qatar Computing Research Institute, Gabriel Habawini, Professor at INSEAD, Kurt Malhorn, Director of the Max Planck Institute for Informatics, Mary Jo Dively, Vice President and General Counsel at CMU, Bill Sherless, Director of the Institute for Software Research in the School of Computer Science, and Dwayne Seppi, the BNY Mellon Professor of Finance, Tepper School of Business. A number of Cutter Foundation corporate and community leaders are also here today in the audience, and we're happy you're all here to celebrate with us. We'll do some more introductions moving forward. Uh, finally, Dean Trick, welcome. This room full of supporters is a testament to your leadership uh, and the excitement about your appointment. So we're going to hear more about Mike and CMUQ from President uh, Farnam Jahanian. So please join me in welcoming Farnam and our entire um, group to the stage. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lori. I want to acknowledge and also thank again our Provost Lori Weingart for her leadership in advancing teaching, research, and the scholarly mission of Carnegie Mellon. Thank you very much, Lori. Good evening. On behalf of the entire Carnegie Mellon community, it is my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you this evening especially our guests of honor, Dean Mike Trick, his family and friends, dignitaries and trusted partners from local and international community, as well as senior leadership from both the Pittsburgh campus as well as our campus here in Doha. I'm honored to welcome distinguished guests from Qatar Foundation, including Her Excellency Dr. Hessa Al-Jabbar, a member of the Joint Advisory Board for CMUQ who will share her perspective with us uh, in just a moment, and also members of the CMUQ Joint Advisory Board. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, some great friends and supporters of Carnegie Mellon. His Excellency Sheikh Faisal Altani, also His Excellency Sheikh Hamad Altani, and His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Al Hamadi. Please join me in welcoming our honored guest this evening. First. Today, as we celebrate this milestone for Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar, I want to thank also our partners here at the Qatar Foundation for their continued trust in us and for their partnership with Carnegie Mellon and their support. Uh, for Dean Trick's installation. I want to specifically thank His Highness the Father Amir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and also Her Highness Sheikh Amoza bin Nasser for their vision in creating Qatar Foundation and also for their vision in creating the education city. We're also grateful, and I want to extend my sincere thanks to Her Excellency Sheikh Ahin bin Hamad Al Thani, uh, 
Vice Chairperson and CEO of Qatar Foundation and her, for her leadership and continued support of this vibrant and growing community. Please join me in thanking <laughs> Sheikh Amin. We, of course, at Carnegie Mellon look forward to continuing our work with Qatar Foundation to advance the nation's goals through the education and development of fine students who attend CMUQ. And finally, to the CMUQ faculty, students, and staff, and alumni who are here with us today, thank you for your enthusiasm and your support as we celebrate the installation of Mike Trick as the third dean of Carnegie Mellon here in Qatar. I want to especially acknowledge members of the search committee uh, who advised me on the selection of Mike Trick. I'm grateful for the work that you've done, and I'm thankful to you for your good taste. This momentous occasion not only commemorates the beginning of Mike's deanship, but it also provides an opportunity to celebrate the vital role that this campus continues to play in Carnegie Mellon's growth as a global institution. Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar is a hub for knowledge, innovation, and research, offering a transformative education for the next generation of leaders. The students and faculty of this campus have not only embraced CMU's interdisciplinary and collaborative research to problem solving, they have enriched our entire university with their new ideas, new ways of thinking, and an obvious passion for learning. This fall, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the merger of Carnegie Institute of Technology and Mellon Institute of Science the moment we became Carnegie Mellon University, a comprehensive research university. From our trailblazing early days, we were an institution at the forefront of education, research, and discovery in technology, science, and the arts, providing opportunities to both men and women. We have emerged as an international leader in higher education and research with 110,000 alumni living in 130 countries around the world. We're truly embra embracing a, a borderless vision for research and education where our capacity for discovery is limited only by our imagination. Thanks to the relentless ingenuity of the global community, the CMU's global community, there is no more exciting time to be part of this institution than right now. This is an extraordinary time in the life of this institution. As you all know, today's celebration in, as you all know, today, the acceleration in scope, scale, and ubiquity of digital technologies is disrupting just about every sector of our economy and our society. Make no mistake, we're seeing a global transformation catalyzed by automation, digitization of information, democratization of knowledge, and unprecedented access to data. And Carnegie Mellon University is at the center of all of it. We're positioned like no other institution to define and manage the space where technology and human life intersect and to train the next generation to solve the problem of global significance. By now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Andrew Carnegie's famous declaration, my heart is in the work, which has become in some ways an unofficial motto of Carnegie Mellon University. I think our students who are here would tell you that we're a hardworking place, without any doubt. Everybody recognizes that. But at Carnegie Mellon, when we talk about work, we mean something just a little bit different. Instead of telling you what it is, let me show you a video. The makers, the dreamers, the scientists, the artists, the researchers, the engineers, the challengers, the game changers, the fearless. Today, we work. The myth debunkers, securers of cyberspace, and drivers of the driverless, the climate leaders, the energy shapers, and frontliners of artificial intelligence. Today, we work. The founders of new fields. 
the bosses of brain science, the smarts behind smart cities, the industry disruptors, pioneers of planetary robotics, and architects of what's next. Today, we live it. Breathe it. Love it. Write it. Rewrite it. Nail it. We hack. Attack. Move. Groove. Start up. Start over. Tinker. Imagine. And dare. Today, we work. Wasn't that a fantastic video? In fact, we uh, launched this video less than a week ago, and so far we've had 35,000 people who have watched it online. For our students and faculty staff who are here, uh, this is now available on CMU's website, of course. CMU has been able to reach new levels of excellence on global stage thanks to the partnership of Carter Foundation. We have strong ties, of course, with government and industry in this country. I want to take a moment also to acknowledge the leadership of His Highness, the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and thank him for his unwavering commitment to knowledge and progress as key priorities outlined in Qatar Foundation's, at Qatar's National Vision 2030, and represented here in Education City, uh, a model in, of the world, for the world, I should say, in how to build a strong, responsive, and innovative society for all people. Carnegie Mellon is proud to be part of this community to deliver education and research programs that will support and contribute to the long-term development of Qatar's knowledge-based economy. The leader we've chosen for today to build on the past successes that we have here is Mike Trick. Throughout his career as internationally recognized scholar and leader, Mike has already demonstrated a deep appreciation for borderless knowledge and the power of collaboration to motivate, inspire, and unite. Under Mike's leadership, I'm confident that CMUQ will continue its development as integral part of Qatar landscape, representing CMU's dynamic global capacity. Mike, thank you for your, for your willingness to take on this leadership role, uh, to build and nurture this community in all of its endeavors as the new Dean of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar. Congratulations, Mark. At this time, it is my honor and privilege uh, to introduce our next speaker, a friend and a great partner of Carnegie Mellon from day one, Dr. Hessa. Her Excellency has been with Carnegie Mellon almost from the day the concept of CMUQ uh, came together. As I mentioned, Dr. Hassel serves as the Joint Advisory Board for CMQ, CMUQ. She acts as an advisor to the academic and administrative leadership on this campus. She also served as the first Minister of Information and Communication and Technology in Qatar and was the only third Qatari woman to assume a ministerial role in the state. Today, she's in the United Nations ITU Broadband Commissioner for Digital Development and a member of several boards of directors for business, education, and cultural organizations in Qatar and around the world. Dr. Hassa, who spread head, uh, spearheaded rather, the efforts aimed at modernizing Qatar's ICT infrastructure, has twice been listed among the 500 most powerful Arabs in the world in the Arabian Business Magazine. Dr. Hassa will offer a few remarks on this occasion Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Hesse. Dr. Hesse. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you, President Jahandar, for your nice word. And when I'm in CMU, I always remember uh, Dr. Rajridi and uh, Dr. Thorup. So I feel them now with us. Uh, good evening, uh, Provost Wengrat, uh, Dean Trek, uh, honored guest, the Carnegie Mellon University Qatar community and represent representative of Qatar Foundation. To all of the guests who traveled from Pittsburgh, welcome to Qatar. I hope you enjoy your stay here in Doha and you will come back and visit us again. I have been a friend of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar from the early days. 
I have watched this campus grow into a mature institution that is an integral part not only of Qatar Foundation but of the education system in, in Qatar. Uh, Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar has flourished because of a strong decisive uh, leadership and that continues with the selection of the new dean, Dr. Michael Trek. This evening I speak to you on behalf of Qatar Foundation. For those of you, of you who are unfamiliar with Qatar Foundation, allow me to share how an idea more than two decades ago has become the visionary organization that brings all of us uh, today. In 1995, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the Father Amir, shared a vision with Her Highness Sheikh Hamouza bin Nasser to provide Qatari citizens with a greater choice in education, health, and social progress. The QF was created in August 1995 with a vision that through education and research, Qatar Foundation leads a human, social, and economic development of Qatar. This was a critical moment in the history of Qatar, when, when was an, a nation committed to use our rich resources from oil and gas to transform ourselves into knowledge society. Qatar Foundation has an exciting mandate to be the engine driving the development of Qatar's pe of uh, Qatari's people and any citizen and uh, and uh, people who are living in Qatar by unlocking human potential. Education is the cornerstone of Qatar's effort to build a modern, prosperous state. And this is why our partnership with institutions like Carnegie Mellon continue to be so important. Qatar Foundation formed a partnership with Carnegie Mellon University in 2004, and I still remember when Dr. Raj brought this an idea. And in the beginning, personally, I thought this will be extremely difficult, but now here we are uh, after many years with, with that work. And uh, the idea was to bring a world class of programs in the areas of business, technology, and science to the educational, to, to education city. Carnegie Mellon University has also become an important part of the community here in Qatar. Th through thought leadership, executive education, school outreach programs, and strategic partnership, CMUQ makes a significant contribution to Qatar. These areas are critical to the transformation of Qatar and the region today. There are nearly 700 graduates, most of whom are working in Qatar, and each of these young professionals, and now I can see a few of them are here, are helping to shape the future of Qatar. The next chapter in the story of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar began today with the installation of, of our new dean, Michael Trek. Dr. Uh, Trek, Dean Trek is, a unique, uh, is in a unique position to lead this institution through its second decade. He is an esteemed educator who will provide the guidance and leadership to fulfill education mission of CMU Qatar. He is an internationally recognized researcher who will bring a new perspective to the research effort of CMUQ. He is a strategic thinking, th thinkers who will help to ensure that CMU Qatar is continuing to the community in a way that matter to all of us. On behalf of Qatar Fund Foundation, congratulations to you, Dean Michael Trek, and best wishes to you uh, begin the journey here in uh, Qatar. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hesse. It's quite meaningful to me to play a role here in uh, Mike's installation as Dean of CMUQ. Mike and I both started our careers at Carnegie Mellon University 
in 1989. We were both 12 years old. <laughs> no. But in all seriousness, uh, Mike and I have really grown up together at Carnegie Mellon. As Mike's close colleague at the Tepper School of Business, uh, for many, many years, I can attest to his longstanding commitment to excellence in nurturing the research environment and the learning environment. His commitment is really driven by his belief in the power of collaboration to motivate and to inspire others. These are values that will serve him well in this new role. Uh, deans at CMU go through a very highly selective process to become trusted leaders of their colleges, their departments, and their campuses. One of my roles as provost is to partner closely with the deans and all of them to ensure the academic success of the university. And I can truly say that our standard of excellence is unmatched um, across the world. So Mike was selected for this role because of his commitment to excellence, but also because of his impressive background. He served CMU in a variety of roles, including Senior Associate Dean for Faculty and Research at the Tepper School, and before that, Senior Associate Dean for Education, also at the Tepper School. Mike actually preceded me in that role um, and provided me great guidance and support. Mike also has served on various committees, um, the University Research Council, demonstrating his excellence in research, and also a member of the Faculty Committee on Diversity and Inclusion and Development, focusing on the human capital. Uh, internationally recognized for his contributions in operations research, as both a researcher and an award-winning educator, Mike has consulted extensively with organizations you might recognize, um, name a couple, the United States Postal Service, the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, among others. And one other claim to fame, if you don't know about Mike, uh, he scheduled the uh, Major League Baseball in the United States for 12 years, so they played his schedule. Um, Mike has also been prominent in many research organizations, so he's a fellow and the president of the Institute for Operations Research and Management Sciences, which is also known as INFORMS. Uh, he's also currently serving as the president of the International Federation for Operational Research Societies, which is an umbrella organization um, for, of operations research societies whose members represent more than 30,000 academics, professionals, and students throughout the world. So let's pause for a moment and recognize Mike for all of his accomplishments. Uh, tonight is also an opportunity to recognize how important CMUQ is to the Carnegie Mellon story. So CMUQ plays an incredibly important role both to CMU and to the region. Over the last 13 years, the students and faculty have advanced CMU's international reputation and have made significant contributions to the economic development of the region. This excitement and energy is alive here at, current, at Education City. I felt it over the past two days through the nearly 400 students from 35 countries serving, um, studying at CMUQ and almost 700 CMUQ alumni who've gone on to pursue exciting and impactful careers in medicine and health sciences, business, information systems, and computing, areas that are shaping the future of Qatar and of the global economy. Uh, graduates from CMUQ are highly sought after often with their choice of careers in top organizations in Qatar and around the world. And others choose to go on to graduate studies. We're very proud of them. With programs in biological sciences, business administration, computational design, and co computational biology, computer science, and information systems, our undergraduate programs reflect the curriculum that we teach in Pittsburgh and some are some of the finest in the world. So I know many of you in the audience are part of the campus community here at CMUQ. So I'd like to recognize all of you and thank you for being here tonight. It's now my privilege to invite President Jahanian and Dean Trick to come forward for the installation. Mike, in recognition of this memorable occasion and on behalf of your fellow deans and senior leaders and all faculty and staff, we present you with this vessel, a quake. A quake is a Scottish vessel traditionally symbolizing friendship or welcome. 
Its two-handed design is a symbol of new ventures and mutual trust between the giver and the receiver. Mike, we hereby install you as the third dean of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar with all the distinction and responsibility pertaining to this office. And now, And he hasn't even given his speech yet. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present Mike Trick, the new dean of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar, to say a few words. Thank you. Wow, a standing ovation. That, uh, that hasn't happened when I teach my classes, so thank you all very much. Your Excellency, Dr. Hesse, President Jahanian. Provost Weingart, faculty members, administrators, students, alumni, members of the CMUQ, Education City, and Qatar communities. Thank you all for coming out today. It means a great deal to me. It is indeed a pleasure to become the third dean of Carnegie Mellon University in Qatar. This is a tremendous honor and one in which I take tremendous pride. CMUQ brings together two outstanding organizations, Carnegie Mellon University, my home, as Laurie said, for the last 28 years, and the Cutter Foundation, a visionary organization working to nurture future leaders of Cutter and to contribute to human development in Cutter, the region, and around the world. In my two months here, I have seen the excitement the energy and the enthusiasm of the faculty, staff, and students in making CMUQ a world-class organization. Since its founding in 2004, CMUQ has expanded from a few faculty and students to a vibrant hub of more than 60 faculty members and nearly 400 students. We now offer five outstanding programs in biological sciences, business administration, computational biology, computer science, and information systems. The success of our nearly 700 alumni is a testament to the quality of the education that is happening here. In my first two months here, the support I have received from the community is striking. From the other deans at, uh, on, here at Education City, to business leaders, government officials, ambassadors, entrepreneurs, all have made me welcome and all have made me realize what a special place Doha and Qatar is. I'd like to take this occasion to thank a few people uh, who have made my position here possible. Uh, first, of course, is President Jahanian, uh, who has shown his faith in me by appointing me to this position. Um, while the thought of moving halfway around the world was a bit intimidating, I've got to say that his enthusiasm for CMUQ is contagious, and I hope that I can translate his enthusiasm into an even more influential CMUQ. I've been fortunate to work with a number of other leaders over the years. Two are not here today that I would like to point out are the former president of CMU, Jerry Cohen, whose vision first brought CMU to Doha, and the Dean of the Tepper School, Robert Damon. I worked for many years with President Cohen on a variety of projects, and I am ever impressed with his ability to bring together a wide range of people towards a common goal, and that's what we need here at CMUQ. That inspiration, like that of President Jahanian, has made CMU what it is today. And I worked with Dean Damon for more than six years, and have learned a tremendous amount about working with students, with faculty and staff to move a school forward. It takes all of us to be successful. I hope I can use all that I have learned during those years 
as associate dean of the Tepper School to have a similar impact on CMUQ. Now, during my time at the Tepper School, I've been fortunate to work with two other senior associate deans. Um, the first was Rick Green, a professor of finance who joined me as senior associate dean when Bob Damon first became dean of the Tepper School. Uh, Rick was responsible for faculty and research and did a tremendous job in setting the intellectual direction of the school. I learned a tremendous amount from him on faculty hiring and development, and in particular, how to mentor young faculty and doctoral students, something he was truly amazing at. Rick passed away two years ago, but his wife and my friend Stephanie uh, has joined us today. I would like to ask you to acknowledge Rick by acknowledging Stephanie. The other senior associate dean I worked with is none other than the current provost, uh, Lori Weingart. Uh, as Lori said, we have worked together for many, many years. Now, Lori's professional research interest is in negotiations. And while I very much enjoyed working with her, I couldn't help thinking that most of our conversations would end up in a case study at some point. I don't think I will ever be as good a negotiator as Lori is, but I am certainly much better thanks to her. Lori, thank you very much. I would also like to thank my predecessors, uh, Dean Ilker Babers, Interim Dean Dick Tucker, and Dean Chuck Thorpe. I come into an extremely healthy school. It's an amazing place, and with excellent faculty and staff, and I have my predecessors to thank for building such an incredible organization for me to take part of. There are far too many others for me to thank by name. Uh, friends and colleagues such as Dan Zinn, Chris Telmer, whose wife uh, and my friend Cheryl joins us today, Ellen Van Hove, and many, many others have changed me over the years, making me open to new challenges, such as taking on this deanship. However, I would like to go back 44 years, and I'm going to burst into tears again, boy. I, I, I'd like to go back 44 years to an event that perhaps had the strongest impact on who I am today. As a seventh grader in middle school in Winnipeg, I met a group of boys who later became men, and we became fast friends 44 years ago. Um, we spent countless hours as kids playing street hockey, chess, and especially Dungeons and Dragons. Now, for those of you who don't know, D&D is a fantasy role-playing game. I'm sorry, I should have told the Arabic translator about this. I hope they're doing okay on this. <laughs> Um, involving imaginary worlds and adventures. These shared adventures gave me early training in teamwork, and the interactions with that group gave me my first start in trying to forge common visions and direction. That group is still a group of friends today, though we tend to watch hockey rather than play it. And, uh, but we do get together, we play all sorts of games, including the occasional D&D session. I'm exceedingly grateful that one member of that group, my friend Daryl Cole, is here today. Can we please thank Daryl for what he has done in my life? Daryl? <laughs> Finally, I've lived in Pittsburgh for 30 years. Moving around the world for a new opportunity is exhilarating, but can be very challenging on the family. I'm fortunate to have a wonderful supporting wife in Alona Byers and an adventurous some son, my current D&D partner, Alexander. It would not be easy to come over here except for their support, and I am very, very grateful for it. So please join me in thanking them for their support in this adventure. I am excited about the opportunities here at CMUQ and in Qatar. And I thank all of those who have made it possible for me to join in this adventure. I look forward to the next few years 
Together, we will make CMUQ even better. Thank you all very much. Well, thank you, Mike, um, and congratulations again. At this time, I'd like to invite everyone to join us for a reception in the East Walkway. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us for the reception.